So I'm we're gonna find out if my mic if my mic's working. So I'm mainly making this video because uh I've seen a lot of you know oh anti piracy things and like on YouTube, you know, you go into a video and it says, oh, uh, Mario Party DS anti-piracy or uh, Super Mario Kart anti-piracy. And I'm here to explain why they're all fake. And how to tell it, and how to tell if it's fake. Okay, so right off the bat, like 90% of them are fake. Just right off the bat. There's, like, there's an easy way to know if they're fake, and that is, a lot of these consoles, if you pirate the games, and the console does not detect piracy in them, nothing, nothing will happen, if the console detects piracy mid-game, mid nothing happens. Nothing actually happens. You, you will be fine. I've heard that some consoles will just crash. Now there are some exceptions to this. I'm not saying that every game is like this. Even in some SN, even in the SNES games are sometimes like this. But what I mean by that is like taking take for an example Earthbound. The the difficulty is super cranked up, and if you make it to Gigas somehow, then, um, it resets your save file and deletes all of them. It deletes all the save files. So, there's that. Um, also, another easy way to tell, to tell for if something is actually anti-piracy, or if it's just, like, something, some, it, some idiot on the internet made up is that anti-piracy it a lot of games just simply do not have any a jump a jump scare anti-piracy screen like I know Nintendo is known for make for putting messed up shit in their games uh sometimes but they don't have scary anti-piracy things it's just like like, I think Super Mario 64, if you've seen that one, I think that one, I believe that one might be real. Because it's super, you know, down-to-earth, don't pirate things. And, like, piracy is, Ill piracy is illegal. That kind of stuff. That, that is believable. That's, that's just like, hey, Nintendo caught you, Nintendo caught you doing your stupid shit. Go buy a real game, and not this pirated copy. Because you also uh, make sure to remember that every single one of the games that supposedly have these anti-piracy messages in them, especially the Mario Party one, you can't really pass that one off as real. Mainly because the track for that one it doesn't exist in the OST. At all. There's just no evidence of it being in there. Uh, if it was in the OST, then that would maybe be a little bit more believable, but I would look up for it under a different name. Since anti-piracy really it doesn't make any sense. Because Nintendo is not just going to put stuff like that in their game. And I know I've said that before, but I, I really mean it. I know, like I said, I know Nintendo likes putting messed up shit in their games to mess with uh, little kids just trying to play some Super Mario. And they get nightmares. And it's all in good fun, but, like, come on. Like, really. I'm not gonna put that in there. I I'd expect a company like Rockstar to do something like that. 
Because, you know, Rockstar, they, they like doing stuff like that. Expect a company like Rockstar or Valve to do that, but not Nintendo. I mean, they made, they made that one horror game and just... I know I'm not talking about Luigi's Mansion, because Luigi's Mansion does not count. You can't tell me otherwise, because I'm not going to listen. I uh, and I get and I get that some of you like to have fun and you know what if you if you want to make one of those screens for fun freaking go for it it is fine if you just make it for fun it is it is not my problem if if it's just for fun if it's just for fun it's not it's not my problem. I have no I have no issue with it. But if you're trying to pass it off as real, don't be like that. Nobody likes people who try and pass stuff like that off as real. Cuz you're trying to scare you're just trying to scare people. And I get that some that it might be I've heard the argument that well it's for a good cause. And I'm trying to see where they're coming from when I say that. Like, maybe, maybe a good cause of, hey, don't pirate games, that's pretty illegal. Maybe that's the good cause they're talking about, but beyond that, I couldn't, I can't think of a good cause that they'd be talking about. Because, seriously, what kind of good cause are you talking about? Because I... I couldn't imagine it being a good... I get scared straight. Scared straight is a... It's a good way to get people to do better things. Best way to... One of the best motivations... Two of the best motivations are pettiness and fear. If you scare somebody into doing something, they'll... They'll do it, but also if if they're feeling petty, they'll also do it probably. All I'm saying is that like pettiness and pettiness and fear, they're good motiv they're good motivators. Maybe use them at some point. I don't know. Not my problem if you do. It's it's just, I can't stand to see people being like, Oh my god, I don't want to see that in my game. Like, dude, don't pirate the game, but nothing's going to happen if you do. Well, nothing like what you're talking about will happen. You might get in some legal trouble, but... No... No... Physical harm from a ghost inside your uh, cartridge of freaking Super Mario Odyssey is going to come get you. Uh, I'm also gonna I'm also going to upload another video today talking about talking about how talking about why I don't understand why people obsess over certain creepypastas, so I'll just get to recording that that one right after this one. So you're gonna see the same gameplay footage. Okay, well I'll see you in a